guys. All the way down, take a seat on the left. All right, guys, come on in, watch your heads, watch your steps, take a seat. You're gonna bend your knees like gravity do the rest of the work. That's how. All right, last few victims coming on board. Then we'll be underwater here shortly, folks. Uh, if I could have two of you guys from the middle, one right there, climbed over to the end. Yeah, because, uh, you know, we got to balance the boat out. We're like this right now. We need to be like this. Perfect. One more. Hat. Perfect. You guys can stare into each other's eyes now. Perfect. Awkward. All right, guys. Go and wave goodbye to all those nice people on the dock. Bye. Now wave goodbye to the naughty ones. They have feelings, too. Yeah, don't admit to that next time. Alright, well welcome everybody to the World Famous Seagull Cruise. My name is Jake and I will be your skipper, social director, dance instructor, life coach, marriage counselor, anything else you can think of for as far as we get. Now please remember to make sure you keep your hands on feet, legs side the boat at all times, and please watch your kids. Alright folks, well uh, you know it's funny that we have these decorations here. We were going to decorate our boats for the holidays, but our shipment of decorations kind of never showed up. So I guess now we know where some of it went. <laughs> yeah, I think some garland and tinsel would be really nice on this boat right now. Yeah, I guess not. All right, anyways, over here on the right, folks, we're going to see our first signs of wildlife. Yeah, um, they stand on their hind legs, stand in uh, long lines for long periods of time and stare at the back of each other's heads. Not quite sure why they do it, but, you know, no big deal. All right, guys, over here on the right, this is uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. It's actually rumored that Dr. Indiana Jones will not be joining us for any New Year's parties this year. Yeah, he really hates when the ball drops. Oh, and look at that. We have a tiger and some crocodiles folks, and, uh, well, there were some of our Christmas decorations. <laughs> yeah, I should probably really tell somebody about that. Huh. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Sorry, folks. They're, they're poisonous. Don't touch them. Do not touch them. Yeah, I'm not talking about the snakes. The fruit cake. Very poisonous. Very dangerous. All right, up ahead, folks. Whoa, look at that. Well, it looks like we have a herd of elephants that came out to say hi to us today. Yeah, they apparently got into our crate of holiday wreaths. Yeah, I wonder which one's the ringleader. Yeah, it looks like they're a little bit, uh, playing a little ring around the nosy there, folks. Yeah. All right, guys, over here on the right, this is Bertha. Everybody say hi, Bertha. Yeah, Bertha's been in that waterfall for about 16 plus years. Yeah, let that be a lesson to you kids. The longer you stay in the shower, you'll probably turn into a decorated elephant. All right, over here on the right, this is Squirt. We call him Squirt, obviously, because he's the smallest of all the elephants that we have. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the fact that he's going to come up and squirt you with the water. Get down, get down. Wow, can't even play along. <laughs> no, I was talking to Squirt, guys. He's supposed to squirt you guys this time. We talked about this. Okay, all right. Anyways, over here on the right. Well, we're going to... Oh, man. Guys, stop monkeying around. Please put the Santa costume back. How did you even get a Santa hat that small? Sorry, bud. Oh, and look at that. We found our lost holiday baking supplies as well. Oh, well, that's how the cookie crumbles. Well, you guys have heard of a silverback, right? Yeah, that's a white bottom. Yeah, he's probably making banana bread. You know what? Or maybe it's monkey bread, I guess. All right. Anyways, over here on the left-hand side of the boat, we're going to see a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Made you look. All right, over here on the right, look at that gorilla over there. Aw, how lonely. Actually, you know what? He's a really lucky gorilla. Yeah, you see those candy canes? Yeah, they're in mint condition. Yeah. All right, folks, up ahead, this is called Schweitzer Falls. Do not worry about that. We're going to go over that later. All right, up ahead, folks, we're approaching the Nile River. The Nile River actually goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles and Niles. Yeah, and if you don't believe me, folks, you're probably in denial. All right, on either side of the boat, we're going to see the African elephant. Yes, I just made that word up. The largest lion animals out here in Africa. You know, I can't quite recall the tune that they're playing, although it does ring a bell. And you know, it sounds pretty good seeing as how they're playing it by ear. All right, up ahead, folks, we're going to be approaching the African belt. We have a wide variety of animals up here in the belt today. All right, before we get there, everybody look to the right. Now wave goodbye to all these snowmen. Yes, they will all be cuddled soon. <laughs> yeah, it's been a warm winter. Oh, and look at that, folks. We have a pride of lions that got what they wanted for Christmas this year. Oh, yeah, there's Dancer and Prancer and Comet and Comet. Oh, man. I guess he wasn't so quick after all. <laughs> Oh, and look at that, folks. We found our lost safari as well. Oh, I'd hate to be the low man on that totem pole. No, Mr. Rhino, the star goes on top of the tree. Yeah, he really wants to get his point across. Yeah, it's okay, folks. He usually does in the end. Yeah. 
All right, up ahead, folks, we're approaching the hippo pools now. Hippos are actually very dangerous animals because they're very, very territorial animals. But it's okay, I was talking to the local natives, and they're telling me hippos are only dangerous if they're wiggling their ears, blowing bubbles, or eating fruitcake. We're going to be perfectly fine. <laughs> fine. Oh, no. Oh, no, what are these guys doing? Oh, no, this one has fruitcake in his mouth. Everybody get down, get down, cover your ears. I'm going to try and scare him away. Get out of here. No fruitcake for us. Thank you. Okay, for reals, folks, have you guys ever had fruitcake before? It's disgusting, let me tell you. Okay, don't ever try it, even if it has pineapple on it. That's how they got me. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along. Over here on the right, folks, we're going to be approaching headhunter territory. And, uh, yeah, this right here is art. Art's the one on top. The local natives call that sculpture. Not quite sure why. Oh, speaking of local natives, we have some dancing natives getting into the holiday spirit over here. Yeah, you know what? I think it's safe to say that these guys are pretty lit. <laughs> yeah, light bulbs, guys. Light bulbs. All right, over here on the left, there's some more natives. They look pretty friendly. Oh, no! Christmas carolers! Everybody get down, get down! Come in! Sorry folks, we're really pushing that free kick on you guys this year. Alright, up ahead is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's the marvelous, the stupendous, the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is the most wonderful tide of the year. A true boxing day miracle. Do we have any Canadians on board? Boxing day. Yes, finally. Alright, anyways, they can explain later. Over here on the right, folks, this is called limestone. Yeah, a lot of people take it for granted. Ah, <laughs> uh, my sediments exactly. For those of you that didn't get it, should I have been bolder with my delivery? <laughs> bolder. Oh, man. No, oh, no, man eating piranhas! Wow! Jesus the crackers, everybody. Man eating piranhas. Oh, my lanta, everybody. <laughs> I have no idea that this is going to happen today. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Of course I did. It's been happening for eight days straight already, okay? We're calling it Piranica, the festival of bites. <laughs> you guys see that boa sitting in a tree up? Yeah, pretty neat. All right, guys, over here on the left, we're going to see, uh, oh, this is my good friend Trader Sam. He's actually the head salesman of the jungle. You know, folks, I've never seen Sam in such a bubbly mood. Oh, and now I know why. Take a look at the time. It's almost time to kiss your New Year's resolution. Bye. All right, folks, well, it looks like we're at the most dangerous part of our trip so far. It's a return back to civilization. Now, please, keep your hands, arms, and elbows inside the boat at all times. Yeah, we really don't want to scratch that beautiful dock. All right, guys, well, you guys have been such a great group today. Did you guys have a good time? Good, good, so did I. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, was this anybody's first time on the Jingle Cruise? Any first-timers? Yeah, mine, too. <laughs> uh, do we have any second-timers on board? Any two-timers? <laughs> They're like, nope, no, not me. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right, anybody on board from out of town? Any out of towners? How about out of state? Out of state. Where are you guys from? Sorry, Oregon. Wow. Welcome to civilization. Wait, we have a question, real quick. Hang on. What's up? Does your health insurance cover being strangled by a? Festive elephant. I don't think so. Anybody else from uh, out of this world? How about out of your mind? Anybody out of money? Welcome to Disneyland. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, it looks Sing. like we're gonna get an extended tour. Yeah, an extra 12 feet of dock. All right, this right here is Skipper. Who cares? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's been real. It's been fun. All right, get out. <laughs>